up y'all welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Karita and for today's video I'm going to be reorganizing my pantry again I did do this back in February but I wanted to kind of spruce it up a little bit and make it more functional so those white baskets that you just saw I got those at Target and then I went to TJ Maxx and I found this organizer I'm gonna try to use that for like my granola bars and my protein bars and I got two of these wicker baskets from TJ Maxx. They were $14.99 a piece, but I actually ended up getting a better deal on these baskets at Burlington. You have to stay tuned to see those. They were $8.99 a piece. And then I went to Walmart and picked up another one of these, the Home Edit Organizer Collections um, acrylic bins. I used these in my last video. I loved them. And I want another set to add to the set that I already have to organize my chips a little bit better. But here is an overview of my pantry now. It's a mess, y'all. It was organized at one point, but I mean, of course, with a husband and three kids, nothing's gonna stay perfect. So my goal is to get it back functional um, and to just kind of organize it a little bit better than I did the last time and to just keep in mind like what my kids grab for and like what my husband grabs for. And hopefully this new system will keep this from happening again. You dirt on every wall that I build up. in my previous video which was me cleaning out my husband's side of the closet I'll link it above if you missed it my biggest tip for you when trying to organize a space is to take everything out and I really didn't want to do this this day because I knew I wasn't going to be really touching this second and third shelf that much but to just give myself like mental peace I took everything out to get it nice and organized then I put it back in with the bins empty to see if I liked how the bins looked and you'll see that here in a bit but if you're going to be organizing your pantry I highly recommend taking everything out cleaning it sweeping vacuuming whatever get it nice and clean and then go from there putting things back in had this basket at the top of my pantry as like my overflow basket and I thought I had got it at TJ Maxx or Target I couldn't remember but luckily for me I left the tag on it I do that with a lot of stuff I don't know why I'll leave a tag on things and just kind of just use it anyway but anyway the basket on the left is the one that is from Burlington that's $8.99 and the basket on the right is the one that I got from TJ Maxx that was $14.99 so you can see here there is a size difference the one from Burlington is bigger and it's cheaper so if you're in the market for this type of basket or just organizing bins in general check out Burlington first because they are about four or five dollars cheaper for most of the things that I ended up seeing compared to TJ Maxx and Home Goods and Marshalls also Ross is really good about having things cheaper than TJ Maxx Home Goods and Ross so definitely check out Ross and Burlington for organization things before TJ Maxx Marshalls Home Goods For these baskets I knew I wanted to put like paper towels and overflow juices in them like the Capri Suns and things like that so I got these from Target like I said earlier but actually I was in Dollar Tree a couple days ago and I saw a basket similar to this it wasn't as wide and as deep or as thick but it did uh, resemble this one a lot and it was three dollars and it was a good buy to me if you're in the market for a basket similar to this but you don't have the budget to spend you know nine dollars per basket Love could pass, tomorrow comes, and you are not around, feels a tip I have when organizing any space is to take a picture of it when you get it how you think you want it in your head that way when you go to put everything back in it you kind of already know where you want to put it and if you forget you can just reference that picture
really love about these particular containers from the home edit collection is that you're able to stack them on top of each other so for my pantry i have more vertical space than horizontal i mean ideally i would love to get wooden shelves put in here but eventually i will but for right now i have so much vertical space in between each shelf that it just makes sense for me to stack these containers upward to maximize my space in my pantry and that's why i went back and got another set and i'm thinking about getting one more so that i'll have a total of five um, just because I do have a lot of snacks for my kids and they're going to go to summer camp pretty soon and they'll have even more snacks. But. I specifically wanted a basket that was not acrylic or see-through because I wanted to store all of my overflow things, things that are just extra that I have double of. And I didn't want to be able to see it because I feel like when I can see it, it feels a little bit cluttered. So I love these baskets for this. Um, it's I keep a lot of stuff like in doubles, especially things that the kids eat a lot of like syrup and waffle mix. And then I have like a lot of Ziploc bags and just overflow snacks because I get most of my snacks at Sam's and most of the time the snacks don't fit all in the acrylic container so i'm always stuck with having like a few goldfish or a few cheeses or whatever left so i loved how these baskets worked out for my overflow and like hiding that extra clutter that was at the top of the pantry from Target worked out perfectly for paper towels and for the juices. I also ended up putting my husband's like pre-workout stuff and his like protein shakes and stuff in another one because I had it in just like one of these wooden crates that I got from Michaels and it was functional for the time being because it was the biggest thing I could find but I loved how this worked out for it and it just made it look way more like aesthetically pleasing to have the white at the bottom all lined up together i just i loved it y'all like i said in the beginning of the video when I figured out where the original basket was from, I went back to Burlington to try to find another one and I found this one. And I also found this super cute Winnie the Pooh spatula set or a spoon and a spatula. And I love all things Winnie the Pooh so I could not resist it. And then this was a few days later, like I said, I went to Burlington. I needed to refill the rice so I thought I would include that here. And if you haven't seen the video that this clip is from, I'll link it above. 
Mr. Caden was having the time of his life, following me around, making sure that I was getting everything done so that we could go outside. But yeah, I refilled the rice and then I'm gonna show you guys how everything turned out in the final product. Every day. you guys i love how it turned out it's a lot more functional again it's back organized again and hopefully i can keep it this way thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please be sure to give it a thumbs up i would love if you would subscribe before you go drop me a comment down below and i will see you guys in next week's video hope you have a great day bye but you see the real me since i let you in under my skin i'm all free than i have ever been you broke my chains and released me and days turn into nights on the couch in your apartment no i am not the same everything has changed every day